So my colleagues have already spoken about the importance of the interdisciplinary approach in heritage research and the role of the technology in valorization process. And the modern museums are uh, or um, cultural educational center institution are difficult to imagine without technology. And I would like to talk about the exhibitions and museological language where the science and art um, intersect and to find the language for this fusion is uh, it's really very important. And uh, the museums as the factory of the, but I still could not pass the, uh, it works with the, um, the museums as the factory of emotions in favor of science plays a powerful role in modern society and it provides stimuli of scientific knowledge uh, and its dis knowledge dissemination and is a space dedicated to the inspiration. And making exhibition is um, increasingly recognized as an important form of creative process and um, of creative expression. And um, it's, um, it is multidisciplinary and its boundaries are complex. And today's um, exhibition design intersects with the different uh, artistic movements such as the environmental art uh, um, installation and form performance art and um, and also the in, increasingly interact with the different type of medias like the film and uh, other forms of new um, media and what we have to remember is that the museum is always about the real object and the real phenomena and all the rest supports the object to um, to speak and in this process it's important to find the exact language uh, uh, for this communication. So today I want to share with you some um, cases that um, our team has done recently. And so the, the one of um, is the newly opened Bolnisi Museum, one of the regional museums um, uh, in Kvemokartli region. And that was the first museum in Georgia that opened online due to the COVID-19 pandemic limitations and several archaeological uh, sites of universal importance has um, have been uncovered in this region of Kwamakartli and are of the highest significance for the human, um, for the history of human um mankind and uh, highlights include discoveries such as the remains of the human ancestors oldest um, uh, known traces of winemaking and the archaeological evidence of the earliest gold mines and uh, um, archaeological research and many exceptional findings have brought the region into the spotlight of the world scientific community and the discoveries has given the Georgian scholars the opportunity to work with international institutions and um, become the respected member of the wider scientific community. And the new museum, new Bolnisi Museum presents the history of biocultural diversity of the Kwamakartli region and is connected to the global context is and I want to show you the the one of the highlights of this museum that Manisi um, site which is the site is located near the um, just next to the border of the southwest uh, Georgia in Kwamakartli and these are the few sites in the world including Africa, the home, homeland of humankind, where the early stages of human evolution have been recording. And for the period considered um, 
um, the human fossil collection is the, the richest and the best preserved in the world. And um, so this kind of um, installation, museographic installation based on the scientific data was created according to the graphic reconstruction by Mauricio Anton and the fossils and their scale reconstruction are visible to the lightning installation and the most uh, and the best method for designing and the um, designing and producing the museographical installation in museums is scientific method itself. And um, that uh, um, I just wanted to show that uh, example. And, uh, and this is the man-made, uh, uh, this is the, the stone tool made nearly 1.8 million years ago and the first known technological invention. And this is the um, installation presented one of the um, Japanese um, artists at the Venice Biennale showing the oldest and the modern tools. And uh, for some people, these stones uh, and stone artifacts might appear crude. They couldn't, how can, how can, do we be sure that they are um, men, human made and are not just crushed by rock falls or they, um, trampled by the animals? And so to show this uh, and to explain all this, we have done the special animation um, in um, Polnisi Museum that explains uh, the um, the whole process and uh, the um, uh, it's very important that the stone tools were used by humans during most of their prehistory and because they are so well preserved some um, artifacts are among the most important sources um, of information um, archaeologists used to trace the path uh, of cultural change over almost two million years in Klamokartri region. And um, this animation of stone tool making and uh, tells the story of um, evolution of human culture and uh, cognition as well. So I will show them just uh, briefly this uh, animation. So this animation is um, projected inside the showcase next to the real objects. Uh, and uh, we try to explain um, um, all the techniques, uh, how the stones were um, created and how they, and um, for what they were used uh, and et cetera. And uh, next to the um, Manisi Homo erectus uh, stone tools, we exposed uh, um, Neanderthal stone tools, and so the visitors can uh, combine and see the, the differences, and it's really very evident in this comparison. Mm. So the next, uh, I can, I will switch now to the another project. This is another project that I wanted to talk about. Um, it's our um, international exhibition that um, was uh, um, in Bordeaux, the exhibition Georgia, the Cradle of Viticulture, um, and it was organized um, in, in collaboration with Georgia and the Foundation for Wine, Culture and Civilization in Bordeaux. 
And um, this is the center of um, the winemaking. And uh, uh, in this exhibition, we showed the, um, the result of um, very important scientific discoveries that gave the, the Georgia the um, name of cradle of um, wine. So in this uh, exhibition, we used um, more artistic um, representing installation. For example, this is the installation of the table where we, we exposed to different uh, 15 uh, wine vessels. And like this, we're um, telling the story, the, the continuity from the Neolithic period until the end. Uh, but I want to, to speak um, about uh, another installation that um, uh, maybe you all of you recognize the applicants uh, from Bani. And uh, they were used, uh, presented uh, in more artistic uh, installation and, and there were, a video was projected on them. So you can see the installation that was um, on this um, at this exhibition, and the bronze appliques were in the shapes of the heads of two men, menets and the statues were discovered in the sanctuary um, from the second and first um, centuries BC in Bani. In the temple of um, temple city of um, kingdom of Colchis, and uh, this um, applicants together with um, um, other characters of mythological characters such as Ariad and Pan, and also the statue of the god of um, victory, the Nike, where. Um, they were decorating the ritual vessel. So in the frame of this uh, bilateral project, we um, maybe we could reconstruct also that vessel that was, uh, the shows the, how the um, Colchians uh, gave the homage, paid um, homage to the uh, Dionysus. Um, um, which appears in um, um, in Colchis during the Hellenistic period, and uh, we all know that the the wine was always considered as the um, divine drink, and um, and people made offerings uh, to the god, and this tradition continues in the Christian period as well and next to this installation we were um, we have done another type of uh, um, video installation um wait there is some kind of uh, problem with the Um, installation of the last supper um, because the wine is uh, also linked to the Christian liturgy um, and um, in, in this video installation we depicted the um, the last supper from the Mm, the press comes from the last supper from Ubisi Monastery. This is the unique mural paintings that I um, presented uh, in the altar. Um, usually they are not uh, in that uh, part of the um, church. And it's, uh, and in order to highlight the um, it focuses on the Last Supper in order to highlight the Eucharistic offering of the mystery of the Holy Communion 
introduced by the Chris um, Jesus and the sign of a new and uh, uh, over, everlasting, everlasting covenant. Uh, Chris gave his uh, disciples bread and wine symbolizing the, his body and blood and that kind of uh, uh, installation was accompanied by the um, uh, by this chant uh, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, um, written by the King Demetrius the First in 12th century, and uh, um, it's the finest example of. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, hear now, but. Uh, uh, it was, uh, it is the finest example of the medieval Georgian polyphonic music and that kind of uh, installation. Mm. So with these two examples from, um, from this uh, temporary exhibition, and uh, this kind of um, installations, uh, I wanted to show the museographic metaphors that uh, can help you to make visible an invisible piece of reality and somehow to create a bit different uh, um, atmosphere. So this is the, that what I wanted to show and, uh, and now, I will speak briefly about the Van Museum. That was uh, uh, the, the first uh, site museum in the region of the Caucasus, um, established in 1955. And um, it's just opened recently after the 10 years of um, renovation. And um, so one of the main um, aim of the, our bilateral project is to uh, somehow to connect. Um, 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 somehow to connect the, um, uh, the collection that is on display in Bani and also the part of the um, golden treasury of the Colchian um, gold misery that are on display in Tbilisi. And in this video, you see the masterpieces of um, and we used that kind of video installation uh, next to each uh, grave. Um, so there is a special grave uh, dedicated to the. Uh, there is a special hall dedicated to the graves uh, in Vani uh, permanent exhibition. And like uh, with this kind of. Uh, um, modern technology, we try to integrate this um, st story and the artifact. So this is the showcase of the grave uh, six in five in, uh, in uh, Tbilisi archaeological treasury exhibition, and this is in Vani. So we want to the to connect not only these two museums, but also this collection to the sites. And uh, I do hope that with uh, our um, joint project, we could manage to, uh, to make, uh, to increase the accessibility of the collection of Bani to broader audience and, um, as its collection is an important uh, part of the European heritage. Uh, and um, I just want to finish the, the, my presentation with one of the um, exhibition that was uh, in, in Tbilisi. 
um, and we organized uh, with the, in collaboration with the Italian embassy uh, in Georgia and this virtual uh, um, exhibition gave us opportunity to travel through the masterpieces of Italian paintings and uh, that somehow is uh, um, for me like a link that uh, the, um, the heritage and the culture is very important act and uh, the instrument for this uh, kind of dialogue and uh, the modern technologies uh, can assist uh, us, but uh, we have always to remember that the museum is uh, uh, always about the real objects and real phenomena. So thank you. Um, that's what uh, I wanted to say.